In tonight's The Rebound Green Country, we are looking into ways landlords are helping people stay in their homes during this pandemic, even if they can't make rent. Two Works For You problem solver Aaron Conrad shares one renter's story and talks to housing experts about what options are available if you need help. Like so many people yeah. right now, Kaylee Lemons never expected to be in this position. I was definitely scared, didn't know how to come to them at first. She works at a dental office, and because of the pandemic, her hours have been cut. This past month, she wasn't sure if she'd be able to make rent. That's when she went to her property manager at Britney Square Apartments to get help. It was a big relief just knowing that we would not have any work and there were options. Well, hopefully. Greg Wright is the president of Capital Assets Incorporated, the management company that owns Britney Square. The company runs eight apartment complexes in green country on top of some other properties across the state. As we saw this virus uh, situation growing through March, we just started talking about how we can help. We wanted to, we, you know, our goal is to have residents occupy the apartments and stay in the apartment. And uh, we just want to work with them as much as we could. So we knew that it, there was going to be some kind of impact. And we just wanted to let them know that we were willing to work with them. And, and we wanted them to stay in the apartments. If you communicate with them and let them know kind of what's going on, um, they are willing to work with you. There's no late fees or anything and payment plans for the whole month. So you, it is a help. Experts say if you need help, the best plan of action is to be honest and make sure you provide documentation of your financial hardship. We've asked them to provide either their unemployment paperwork that they've had from when they've had to file for unemployment or pay stubs that show reduced hours um, from the last couple of, of, of pay periods. So different things like that that shows that they have been Im impacted, uh, just things that every, every, we all have. But the main thing is to communicate with your landlord and the, the management company on site. Um, which typically in that time Carrie Cooper period. with the Tulsa Apartment Association says most management companies are very flexible due to the situation. And despite concerns over evictions, she says landlords do not want to lose their tenants. When we look at April, as of now, um, I think we're at 15 to 20 evictions that have been filed for the month of April, um, which typically in that time period, we were over 300. Um, in the previous year. So I think that just speaks to the number of housing providers that are out there working with their residents and doing payment plans mm -hmm. and really trying to come up with solutions to keep them in their housing. And if you have received a notice of eviction, that doesn't mean you have to leave immediately. The paperwork still has to go through the court system before you can be legally removed from your home. And here in Oklahoma, eviction hearings have been suspended since March. As for Kaylee, she says she's glad she worked up the courage to talk to her management. Now it's one less worry on her shoulders, something she says she's thankful for. It means I'm not going to lose my home. I'm not going to be on the streets. Um, I have a place to lay my head somewhere I can come home that's safe. And I know that I don't have to worry about anything for that moment. Another resource is 211. They can connect you with organizations that can help you make those payments. And we're posting resources we find for you in our rebound section on our website, kjrh.com. At home, Erin Conrad, Two Works For You.